So I finally have a chicken coop. I wanted to do a quick video where I review this. This is a cheapo chicken coop. It's the best choice products chicken coop I ordered off of Amazon. It was about $200 US. And uh, it was basically the cheapest chicken coop I could get while still getting prime delivery. Um, even though it came delivered in two separate packages that I'll talk about in a minute. But I wanted to quickly review it, um, just to give you an idea if you're looking at this product at Amazon, um, what you can expect. And please be sure to look at the description and possibly the comments below to see a, a link to this particular product on Amazon. So I'll start with the review and then I want to talk about, I'll probably grab the camera and just talk about some things that I'm going to modify and how I'm going to kind of work with this. Now I bought this coop specifically as just something quick and easy to get going, get started, so I can get some chickens in here working on my compost. I definitely, I see it as a pretty solid and easy to put together um, starting point if you want to have chickens. It's small, there isn't a lot of space for a lot of chickens, so, uh, you know, plan appropriately. Either have bantams or just put a two or three, you know, larger breed chickens in here. Uh, it's, uh, so like I said, it's not bad. Um, it claims to be cedar. I don't know if it really is cedar or if it's just like a cheap softwood that's been soaked in cedar oil. It is one of those direct from China sort of situations. It's, um, I wouldn't call it solid by, by any stretch of the imagination. Again, I think it needs to have a lot of modifications. Definitely it's not predator proof. The underside of the nest box, a raccoon could easily knock that because it's not even like properly set in. Um, there was a number of uh, the pieces that were cracked and which is really weird considering they used enough styrofoam in the packaging to like make an environmentalist cry. So the fact that things actually showed up broken or at least cracked, I still utilized it and I didn't see them as so broken as they needed to go back, but they're definitely cracked, which is not what you want to see when you receive a product. Um, like I said earlier, it arrived in two boxes, which actually actually appeared on two days apart. So I got one half, one package like with half the components right off the bat. Then I had to wait another two days to get the rest of it. Um, in general, you know, it's okay. Is it worth the $200? I guess so as a starting point when you compare it to other coops that you can order online, it definitely, I guess the price point makes sense in relatively speaking. It's, uh, again, I think it requires a lot of modification. Um, and uh, I'm going to actually grab the camera and we're going to talk about what I want to modify. And as part of that, we'll, we can take a closer look at things that are kind of off about it. Now, I will note that I have not attached any of the latches to that the clean out door over there or the uh, entrance to the run. Um, I say air quotes run because really I'm going to side up the rest of this to make it one big coop. And that's part of the reason why I haven't put the hardware latches on yet. So just a heads up on that. That's why the door keeps opening. <laughs> but anyway, let me grab the camera and we'll take, uh, take a look at the details. And also I'll tell you about things I want to modify along the way. So one modification I did right off the bat was actually switch the chirality of the coop. And chirality is basically mirror images. So this is actually meant to be built so that the, the nest box is over here and this whole thing is over here and basically everything is on the opposite side. I wanted the nest box over there um, because obviously that's where the gate is to my run. I want it easily accessible to come in here and get eggs. And also I'm probably gonna put a watering bucket under there. So I wanted everything on that side. So that required switching everything out, which means I had to drill new holes for pegs so that I could reverse everything. So if you think of it, it was set up this way. I reversed it to be like this. So that is the first major modification I did. Second thing I'll, I will be doing is uh, I'm actually going to side up the run. All these places that the wire, this wire is not on there really that solid. I wouldn't trust that. That's definitely not predator proof. Anything could bust through that. But because I want to give my chickens, because my chickens are going to have this whole area as a run. So I don't need this little wired off run. So what I'm going to do is actually get my some plywood, basically side up on all sides that has the wire. I'm going to leave the wire on there, but I'm going to add like siding to turn this whole thing into a coop to give as much space as possible. Um, so that's that's kind of my plan for that. That's why I haven't bothered to add any of the door hardware or anything like that. Um, in general, I mean, it put together, it went together pretty quickly, even with me reversing everything and confusing myself. The directions were pretty clear. Once I got both boxes, again, they were delivered two days apart, which was super confusing. I thought they forgot to send the other box. And they're like, oh, no, wait, it'll get there. So just be aware it comes in two two separate boxes. But um, 
yeah, it went together pretty quickly. I mean, it's it's fine. It's got some aeration here. It's got a removable tray. I hate dealing with pans like this, litter pans like this. So my thought is I'm actually going to remove this totally. I'm going to have, so basically, the, I might even remove this thing to be quite honest, but I'll have it so they can walk around in here. I may remove the ramp and then they can fly up into the nest box or fly up to perch the perches. Now the perches are really, really dumb. <laughs> Look, there's two perches. They're really close together. I don't even know why they did that. I don't know why they didn't just move one over. So one of the first things I'm going to do here is probably take this one, move it to a little further over and take this one and put it up higher. So there'll be like two levels that the birds can go to because one, those are, that one's way too close to the wall. Like that would be good for like maybe a young bantam, but that's way too close to the wall for any adult sized chicken bantam or otherwise. And uh, this one's way too close to the other. So this doesn't really make any sense to me. Uh, I don't think the chickens would really enjoy using it. They'll probably only st stand on one because it'd be overcrowded. So the placement of the perches doesn't make any sense. Again, I particularly hate the pan, so I'll probably remove it and just have the chickens walk around underneath. Again, this will all be sided up and they'll just be able to fly up to a perch or fly up to a perch or go into the nest boxes. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to put the perches such that they're higher than nest box or else they'll probably try to, to perch in the nest box, which is what happens. So this nest box is not fantastic. I mean, it's fine. This is very loose in there. It just sort of flops around. I'm sure I can do something to hold that in place. But this is the other really annoying thing. And I didn't see anything in the instructions that suggested attaching the bottom to the, the underlying supports, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. It's probably like that so you can easily clean out the nest boxes, but I think I'm gonna put, attach a board here. Cause while I'll do everything I can to keep predators out of the run, you know, a fox could jump over these fences, you know, there could be crazy stuff going on. So I will do what I can to, uh, to kind of just secure that better and see what we can do. Again, I'll be siding down there. So overall, overall, it's not bad, um, and I'll definitely be staining or otherwise putting a nice protective layer because I don't think this wood will last long. It's very cheap, thin, soft wood. So that's my thoughts, my initial thoughts on modification. I will definitely keep you up to date, so if you're not subscribed to my channel, please just make sure that you do. So I'll take you along every step of the way from modifying this. I may actually build off of it as well. But, uh, yeah, I guess it was worth the money. I don't know what I'll end up giving it. Probably four stars on Amazon because it is what it is. It's okay starting point for the price. Definitely needs lots of modifications. Um, and the fact that it came broken and the shipping is really confusing probably would remove a star. But anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. So again, be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for joining me on this journey.